Well, hello, YouTube. Steve Pat with General Pat Bushcraft back with you, friends, with another video. Today's video is the recap to Alone, Season 11, Episode 11, titled Collapse. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, friends, this is the official recap of Alone Season 11, Episode 11, titled Collapse. They're up there in the Arctic Circle, and it's about day 65, friends. The show opens up always with the famous quote, and this quote is, Worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. So it doesn't do any good to worry, I guess. Well, three people remain. We got Timber, Dub, and William. Day 65, 11.23 in the morning. The show goes right over to Timber. He's the 35-year-old from Indiana, USA. It's nine degrees, friends. Timber comes out of the shelter, and he shows us a pine marten up in the tree right outside his shelter. He's on his way down to check his scent lines. And we learned that there's 60 inches of snowfall per year in this area. And friends, that's not good for the ice. The snowpack on the ice is an insulator and that makes for thin ice. He checks his fish lines, checks all three, nothing. <clears throat> Bait is still on the fish lines. And friends, it's back to the shelter to warm up those feet. He shows us that pinky toe on his right foot, and he calls it frost nip. Not quite frostbite, but he says it's frost nip. So it looks like he's got problems. Okay, friends, it's day 66 now, 10.49 a.m., and the show goes over to William. He's the 49-year-old from Labrador, Canada, friends. And friends, he gets another spruce grouse up in the tree with that long pole technique that he has, that long pole method with the uh, snare wire on the end of the long pole and he snatches another spruce grouse, so good on him. He cooks and, or he cleans that thing and eats the organs right away raw. He heads down to his fish lines, friends. He's got four fish lines out there. And he gets a coney. He gets an inkanu. He eats all the organs raw on that fish, friends. And that's pretty smart, friends. He gets to save all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, all the fat. He doesn't waste any of it by cooking. So smart and good on William. Okay, friends, it's day 67, 12.52 p.m. And the show goes over to Dub. He's the 44-year-old from Michigan, USA. And he shows us all the wrinkles on his face, friends. And he goes, oh my goodness. I wish I didn't see that. He's aging, not looking good out there. It's day 67, friends. He goes down to check the fish lines. Friends, he gets a burbot. Does some jigging. He resets the line on the line that he caught that burbot on another hole, a second hole that he has chipped in the ice. He does some jig and he gets a big in Kanu. Friends, and on his first set line, he gets another burbot. A three fish day, great day for Dub. Okay, friends, it's day 69 now. No, excuse me, day 68, 121 p.m. Show goes over to Timber. It's 10 degrees outside and he's out howling at the wolves. He says he's sitting pretty good. His, his cabin's nice and snug. He spends the day cutting and chopping wood. His strategy is to get ahead on the firewood in case something happens to him. He's sick or gets injured. He's got enough firewood laid up. So smart on timber. But we see him burn a hole in one of his boots, friends, and oh my goodness. That's not gonna be good. He's already got frost nip on one of those toes. It's the pinky toe on his right foot. Okay, it's day 69 now, 11.25 a.m. The show goes over to William. And we see him spend the day building a lean-to outside of his shelter. And 
he wants that it's starting to get cold friends so he wants to have a lean-to shelter for a fire an outside fire might be pretty good strategy on William he doesn't want to have a fire inside of his shelter it dries them out and they'll catch on fire we've seen it on previous seasons friends so smart on William. You know he's from Labrador, Canada, so he might be the one that's best suited for the cold. Okay, friends, day 71, 1120. Show goes back over to Dub. Dub was woken up last night with something on his roof. And the next morning he gets up, he finds his one of his big frozen fish was almost drug off, and it's been chewed on by that Martin. And he says it's a constant battle, friends, every day to stay on your game, to keep the critters from eating your food, chopping the wood, staying warm. It's a constant battle. And also the isolationism. All right, friends, it's day 72, 1141 AM. The show goes back over to Timber. We see him working out on the frozen river, trying to deploy that gill net that he named Betty. He's got a brilliant idea to try to string his narrow, kind of shabby looking gill net and whatever, however he was going to try to do it, it didn't work out, friends. Didn't work out. Back to the shelter to warm those feet up. And friends, he wakes up in the middle of the night. He's got absolutely no feeling in one of his feet, totally numb. The other foot's half numb. He's got just absolutely no circulation on his feet, friends. He's got big problems. All right, day 73 now, 11, 11 a.m. They go, they stay with Timber. He wakes, makes a fire, makes some tea, tells us he's got one hour. He had one hour of sleep last night, and he says he's got big problems, but he might have to cut off some toes. Okay, friends, day 73, 12.40 p.m. The show goes back over to Dub. Dub's cutting wood, catching fish. And friends, it gets dark at 3.45 in the afternoon now. And he works on rebuilding his door in the dark. They've only got about four hours of daylight. But his door was pretty messed up. It was kind of see-through and rickety. So he would spent some time putting some more spruce boughs on that. It's getting cold, friends. He needs to seal up the old shelter. That night, he hears a big animal outside, friends. And he goes out to take a look with his bow and arrow, and he can only find a pine mark. He thought whatever he heard was a lot bigger. Okay, friends, day 74, 11 o'clock in the morning. The show goes back over to William, and it's his boy's birthday. So he goes into his ice chest. You guys remember that real nice ice chest that he built out on the river? He go, That's where he's keeping his uh, bait and also the fish that he catches. He's keeping them frozen in that frozen ice chest. He goes out, goes out there, cuts the head off one of the fish, cooks it up for a birthday dinner for his boy as he celebrates his boy's birthday. Okay, friends, it's day 75 now. Show goes back over to Dub, and we know, we learned that he has a med check. Matter of fact, all three of them are getting med checks today on day 75. And Dub tells us that the isolation is really getting to him. He's got ADHD and he's super bored, so he tries to kill as much time as he can, wrapped up in a sleeping bag, friends. Well, they come to do the med check. He passes the med check, but he thought that he was gonna win the show, friends. He thought that one of his family members was gonna be coming on day 75 with that med check. He passes the med check, the chopper flies off, and he's got, he has a mental breakdown, falls down in the snow and starts crying right there. Friends, he really thought one of his family members was gonna come and that he was gonna win the show. The show ends right there, friends. Season 11, episode 11, the title The Collapse ends right there. That concludes my official recap. I want to thank you for everything you do for the channel, all your views, all your likes, all your shares. And friends, leave me a comment. Let me know who you think's going to win this thing. Everybody's looking pretty strong, except for 
Dub's got that mental breakdown with the isolation. And Timber's got that frostbite going on with no circulation in his feet. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you think's going to win this thing. All right. As always, please, please don't depart from the faith. And if you haven't already, use your free will and give your life to Christ. Friends, get your salvation today. He loves you very much. He died on the cross for you. He will come in and save you. All you got to do is ask him. Confess with your mouth and invite him in. He's at the door knocking, friends. Do it today. Don't wait. And as always, God is good. God is great. I see y'all on the next video. Already got a date.